How's it going guys? For a lot of people, monitor selection for a brand new gaming rig or productivity rig is really confusing. There's a lot of different display types, specs, capabilities, and it can be difficult to sort out what would be the best panel option. So guys, we're gonna go through the different panel types, use cases for each, pros and cons, to ultimately help you make the best purchase decision for you. Let's jump right in. All right guys, to start off, the most common and least expensive of the group is TN or Twisted Pneumatic Panels. These were the first LCD panels that were widely produced and still make up the biggest share of user support. Coming from CRTs to TN, it was a massive step up in size, weight, and brightness, but these are far from perfect and compared to CRTs, they suffer through rough viewing angles, uneven backlighting, even worse motion blur, high input lag, dead or stuck pixels, and rough color reproduction. But with that being said, TN panels do have advantages in lower response times and higher refresh rates over pretty much all of the other panel types. As these panels, they generally hit from 60 to 240 hertz, which in theory provides insanely smoother gameplay for high FPS counters, making TN panels really impressive options for gaming. IPS or in-pane switching panels were created primarily to address some of the shortcomings of TN panels. Basically, IPS panels wanted to improve on the rough color reproduction and viewing angles of TN. Because of this, IPS panels have been very popular within the creative community due to strong color reproduction, great blacks, which is imperative when you're working with any type of content, be it photo or video. The unfortunate part of this trade-off though is that the majority of these panels are limited to 60 hertz before overclock. This means that they definitely cannot compete with TN panels with regards to refresh rates and should not be used for competitive gameplay. PLS or plane to line switching panels are really similar to IPS. They're basically identical outside of a couple really minor differences. PLS is made by Samsung who claims that compared to IPS panels, PLS have better viewing angles, 10% better brightness, they're cheaper to make, which ultimately means that there's more of a diversity of panels on the market. And on that note, AHVA is also another panel type similar to IPS and PLS, but realistically there's no difference between the majority of them. VA or vertical alignment panels are where things get really interesting though. They're basically the happy medium between IPS and TN. They did this basically by combining the advantages of IPS and TN panels the best that they could. VA panels have a much better refresh rate than IPS with much better brightness and viewing angles and the best contrast ratios of the entire group. However, VA panels have the worst response time in comparison to both TN and IPS variants, meaning that there's some disadvantages in gaming. So really, what does this all mean? Can you game on all three? Yes. Can you do creative work on all three? Kinda. As long as color isn't really important, then I guess. I mean, TN is still king when it comes to gaming panels. IPS is still the king when it comes to creative work. And VA panels, while trying to bridge that gap, can provide a really happy medium between the two monitor types. So guys, what monitor are you using to watch this? Let me know down in the comments below and what panel you would choose if you were buying one right now. Let me know down in the comments. All right guys, so thank you very much for tuning in and spending a little bit of your day with us. Smash that sub button if you want more content like this, like if you like the video, and guys, thank you very much again, everyone. We'll see you later on next week. We got a bunch of incredible new videos. So make sure you watch those sub boxes, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.